guys, welcome back to my channel. Ooh, I'm ashy, hold on, give me some. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a review of the NARS Cool Crush Palette. It's exclusively at Nordstrom. Look how beautiful this is. It's giving me like Mediterranean colors. And they also have this really, really pretty, wow, this is hard to open. This really, really pretty blush and highlighter set. It also comes with four velvet lip creams that come in all shades of nude. First I'm going to go in with my For Myself Vitamin C Serum which I'll link down below. Uh, you guys know that I love me some vitamin C. And I'm just going to be like talking really quick about stuff, random stuff. A long time no see. I feel like every time I do this a life changing event happens where I have to update you guys but trust me I will update you guys. <laughs> I'm going to go in with this uh, defining brow pencil from Boutique in mahogany. Damn, I probably should have gotten dark brown. It might be too light for my brows, but whatever. We'll, we'll darken it. I just needed to shape my brows. Yeah, this is definitely way too mahogany. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera because you guys have seen me do my brows several times. And then I'll come back so I can do the actual review for you guys because I feel like I'm gonna waste your time. All right, I'm done with my brows now. I'm going in with my NARS Radiance Primer and I love this primer because it makes my skin glow from within. All right, so for foundation, I'm using NARS Radiant Foundation in Namibia. It's dark four. It's a little too red for my skin. So I go in with the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in dark two and I use that to kind of balance out that redness. If you were to ask me which foundation is probably better between the NARS Radiant and the NARS Sheer Glow. I prefer the Sheer Glow. Um, it gives you nice coverage. It's not matte at all. It still gives you like a really nice finish and that's something I like. I'm using the Trish McAvoy foundation brush to put that all over my skin. For NARS foundation, you don't need a lot of foundation, but for some reason, I always put so much foundation on. It still doesn't look like you have too much foundation though, so that's good. It's coming up a little more red. I feel the judgment, man. Stop it. All right, so for eyeshadow, I'm gonna use the Cool Crush palette, which is this beauty right here. I want to use these colors because they're so vibrant, but I know that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use this as a transition. This a little bit. This a little bit. I said this. If you don't focus, girl, kind of to add. Well, not this. This is gonna be like a base transition. I think I'm gonna put this on the actual lid. Um, I love this color so much. It's so rich, and I just want it to like slay on my eye, especially focus. Okay, especially on my skin tone. Honestly, you guys should probably clean your brushes more than I do. I, I'm terrible at cleaning my brushes. Girl, I am wasting time. I'm just gonna put this color all over the lid just to make that burgundy color when it does go on my eye, just to make it a little more vibrant and like um, like seamless when I am putting it on. You don't wanna put too much. You don't wanna put too, I don't know what I'm saying. Dang, my brain. The reason I like to prime my eyes with the lighter base especially with concealer so that the colors can show up a little bit more. And then on top of that, right now, I'm putting this shadow on my eyelid so that when I do put that little deeper burgundy, it's more of a beautiful blend instead of it being two different harsh colors. Cause this like dark greenish blue, it just reminds me of like Moroccan colors. It'll be hard to try to blend these two together uh, without using something to like make it make sense so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going in with that deeper color and I think that color is called Risk. And at first it looks a little pink but then it's turning a little more of its true color once it hits my eye. And then buff her that up so that it has a very nice seamless blend. When I first apply the product, I'm gonna apply it to my lower to my lid. And the reason I'm doing it lower to my lid is so that has a little bit more pigmentation. And then I'm buffering it up so then it's blended and that has less pigmentation. That's that's what really creates the seamless look. If you just go in and then just start putting a lot of eyeshadow on your lid, it's gonna look very um, not blended and not cute. And I see a lot of people doing that, um, especially people that are still learning with eyeshadow, so that's okay, but um, get it right, sis. Just kidding, I'm not trying to be rude. So I'm just gonna do the same thing to this eye. I really hope that blue and this uh, burgundy brown 
dirt brick color work together because I just love these colors. With NARS eyeshadows, what I can say are they're really, really beautiful. Um, NARS is one of the brands that their shadows have a lot of different shades and they create really cool colors, whether it's foil colors, whether it may be matte colors, shimmer colors. Um, they're all really pretty and pigmented. So I do like working with NARS eyeshadows, especially when I'm working on clients that I'm doing their faces. And they do last a very, very long time. So I like that. And they're easy to blend. You can always add some more without it rubbing off. Um, and I like that as well. Um, that way you can stop where you want to or you can put some more when you want and that's pretty much what I'm doing because I really want this eyeshadow to be super super vibrant kind of like a soft glam but with a little twist of like pow color you know what I mean next I'm gonna get a flat dense brush and this is from Trish McAvoy and I'm gonna go into that color look how beautiful this color is um and I'm gonna put that all over my lid and honestly guys this is so pretty I'm not creating a cut crease but I'm giving the illusion of a cut crease in a way because I'm just using this to pack it on in a shape without blending it. I think I might blend it later on, but I really like this shadow because holy cow, I did not prime my actual eyelid with concealer or anything. And the reason I did that was because I honestly forgot, but I'm glad I did because now I know that these shadows can work without a primer. I'm gonna kind of take this out to create like a cat eye because I've just been into those lately. And these colors are really, really fun to play with because you don't have to do so much and they're easy to work with. And I usually am so scared of a lot of fallout. You're gonna have fallout when you're working with shadows, period. But there's not a lot of fallout in this shadow, especially being with a very deep color. The fallout's gonna be a mess to clean up. So I like the fact that this can really pack it on. And I really like using this brush because this brush collects all the shadow and pats it on your eye without it putting the shadow all over the place. So as you can see, I'm just looking Literally packing that on. I feel like I'm actually doing a tutorial and not like joking around. Who am I turning into? So I did a quick tiny liner on this eye and then I'm doing a little bit more of a cat eye. You guys comment down below what's more difficult doing eyeliner like doing a cat wing eyeliner or putting lashes on. Today I wasn't gonna film because I was like so tired. And then the Lord told me, he said, I have extra battery for you. I was literally trying to do my hair and then I found my camera battery next to my brush and I'm like, all right God, I'll film. But him and I tight like that. So like, I figured it'll be a good day to film. I feel like this eye is a little more hooded than this eye today. But whatever, we gonna deal with it. I'm going in with the NARS Radiant Concealer in Amand, which is medium dark three. Um, it's a little more yellow uh, base, so that's cool. But that will help me with um, putting my skin tone a little bit more uh, yellow than red. Honestly, a lot has been on my mind. I'm just like so not ready to talk about it, but let's go ahead and we gonna talk about it. So um, I can't stand racism and especially the passive aggressive racism. When people act like they're not really being racist but they are being racist and then you just have to tolerate it and deal with it. And especially in places that you can't really tolerate it and deal with it. For me, I'm not the type of person who can just allow things to happen. Even when you have friends that say things you don't necessarily like or um, address things that you don't, not even address, but like just say things that they shouldn't be saying but they feel like because they're your friend, um, they can say it anyway. I'm here to tell you that um, if you're not black, you cannot say the N word. Yeah, I don't understand why we're still talking about that in this day and age because it should be like known that you can't say it, especially when they're a majority of a, a, a t particular race be making it seem like it's okay to be racist because everybody else is kind of like that. Ain't gonna fly with me. Not today. And I really don't want to bring this up while talking about NARS, but you know, I love NARS. Mm -hmm. But this is real life stuff that I have to deal with. And I wanted to talk to you guys about it because it's just been on my mind. You can't claim you're my friend and then stereotype me when you feel some kind of way. I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Um, and I'm gonna use that to pack on. I only pack it on where I really want my contour to be like. And just like that, where did my chubby cheeks go? They disappeared. I don't know where these lashes are from, but they're from Sally's Beauty Supply. Um, 
I think they're Ardell. They had to be one of those. Um, and they're the mink style of lashes. Ooh, hoo, hoo. <gasps> Ooh, hoo, hoo. And you guys know on this channel, I really don't talk about things unless it's really, really like getting to me. And then that's when I'll really talk about it. This was really getting to me. Ooh, where's my nose? <laughs> I don't know. Aha, like I know. I actually got up and curled my hair this morning, everything. If I go to work, they will see African princesses back. I was looking a hot mess at work for the longest time. I have my reasons. I mean, there's no reason to look a hot mess, but I kind of had my reasons. Am I in focus? Can you focus on me? That's how I like it. I'm gonna brush the rest of this off because I honestly am wasting time. Another thing is, taking care of yourself, no matter what you're going through, taking care of yourself, not just mentally, but in your, your outer self as well. Just because you're going through something don't mean you gotta look like you're going through something, you know what I mean? That's what I was looking like for a while now. I'm just setting my uh, contour with my MAC Studio Fix in NW58. All right, so I'm gonna go in with the NARS Hot Fix Cheek Palette. Um, it's part of the Cool Crush collection. I'm gonna go in with these two blushes and kind of combine the middle two because it's very nice and soft. Ooh, look at that. I love blushes on dark skin. Remember when I hated blushes? And I was like, I don't wanna put too much blush on, but now I be going in. I like I like the blush look and I like the overly blush look. I don't know, it just makes you look, seem more of like a Bobby doll. And then to highlight, I'm going to use this highlighter in Gold Leash. And for me, I've always just stuck to what highlighters I know because some highlighters on dark skin can make us look very ashy and um, I don't like that. I like this highlight, it does its job. It's a little too um, champagne pain for me now for the nose I'm gonna put a little bit on the nose that's a lot of it and then I just blend it I'm gonna try the freestyle lip lacquer from NARS I don't know if this is the color that I'm gonna stick with oh my gosh it feels so good this feels really good if you don't want something that's super tacky and glossy like this is the way to go it's super pigmented wow this feels so comfortable but for me you know i like to line my lips so i gotta line my lips because i need a little darker around the edges god dang it i gotta get gas you see how i waste time this is a lip lacquer that i got from the beauty supply, I've been using it for years. I forgot what the name is called, but I really do like the combination. But that is it for this review. Oh my goodness. So what I can say about this um, collection is it's, I mean, I love NARS, so I really do like this collection. I really do like the lip lacquers are like my favorite because they're so velvety. I didn't think it was gonna be my favorite, but those are honestly my favorite. I do like the eyeshadow palette because I can work with it, especially with it being with um, on deep complexion. And you don't have to keep going in and packing it on. I really do like this palette. I think that the cheek palette can go, go well on every skin tone as well. It has blushes that have a little bit of peach, a little bit of pink, and it has like a blush with a shimmer. So if you don't want to put some highlight on, you could go ahead and do that. But you know me, I love highlighter, so I have to put highlight on. And that is it for this tutorial slash review slash look at me, I look good. I am running late and I have to go get gas. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. And until next time, I will talk to you beauties later. Bye.